more hits we play, the more hits we get. You are LRadio.net. Stacey Sturm. Trey Happis Johnson. Okay, let's talk about legendary monsters of Christmas. We all know the happy ones. Like, you know, you have Santa Claus. You, we all know the happy figures of Christmas. But there is a dark side to the rest of the world. Yes. None of these are American. I'll tell you that. <laughs> what? Well, the, the Grinch isn't on there? The Grinch is not. Well, that I, I mean, guess... that's the first... The Well, Krampus is the first yeah. villain, like monster i think right of. but then second would be the grinch would be the grinch yeah maybe because he's never been in like he was never a myth that was like taught to kids do you know what i mean or he was never like a thing that was taught to kids these are actually taught to children like folk folklore, folklore versus, versus, versus like just new movie. story sort yeah. of thing. yeah that's fair i guess yeah i don't know the grinch i have i got a problem like Let's, you got a problem with the well, Grinch? Well, I do, because the, the whole the moral of the Grinch is, mm-hmm. hey, congratulate this jerk for being a less jerk, yeah. for being kind of good. Like, And they didn't give him a lot of trial time. He was literally good for one day. Yeah. And he wasn't even good. No. He just returned all the shit he stole from them. Yeah. 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 I, I think that there are, are more lessons that could have been learned from that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. They should have given him more time and like... Hi, here's all your crap back. Yeah. You know? What about all the other miserable things you've done in your life? Yeah. And that you've done all these years. Why don't you make that up to us? So here's a question. Mm. The Grinch is uh, Whoville. Yes. Whoville above. He lives on the mountain above Whoville or yes. whatever. Um, in a cave. But we learned in Horton Here's a Who that the Who's are small enough that their entire civilization Fits lives a inside little. a speck of, like, a dust on a, on a flower. Yeah. So does that mean that the Grinch is like a v- bacteria or a virus, like a tiny microscopic little thing? Like, could you inhale that, the Grinch? I is guess that how you get... Um, they, you? They, I don't think they, they expected people to put those two together. That would only be you, Trampus. Only you would think of that. Hmm. Somebody else has to have thought of that. I'm positive. I'm because not if the, you tie together their two worlds, that would be correct. That's that. Those are who's. Yeah. That is Horton here. It's right in the name. So maybe yeah. they could talk to that Cubbins guy with his 500 hats and see if <laughs> see if he knows <laughs> anything about nobody's this. Nobody's ever checked in on the Grinch afterwards. To see yeah, if he there's no follow up. Being nice. yeah. There's no follow up. There's so many questions after that. When I was a kid, even I was like, so is the Grinch still nice mm-hmm. or did he go back to being a dick? Did like, he just slice the roast beast and then move on? Yeah. yeah. Did he eat everybody at the Thanksgiving feast and be like, screw you? He I could have. Know. Yeah. There's so many, so many questions unanswered right now. I know. But he's not even on the list. So. <laughs> no, he did not make the list. Um, like you said, though, Krampus, he did make the list. Um, so as a tool to encourage good behavior in children, Santa serves as the carrot and Krampus is the stick. Yes. He is the evil demon, the anti-Santa, his evil twin. His night is celebrated on December 5th, the eve of St. Nicholas Day in Austria and other parts of Europe. Public celebrations have many Krampuses walking the street. They have like parades. Um, they basically threaten their children with Krampus. That's, Although people threaten their children with Santa too. Like you're not going to get the good in Santa. So that's Thursday, tomorrow. Yeah, December yeah, the 5th, 5th is. 5th would be Thursday. Is it Thursday? Yeah. You are correct. It's Krampus Day. Oh, my God. Krampus Day. We need to do something at the bar. Should. Totally should. Ooh, thanks for reminding me of yeah, that. Yeah. I better get cashy on that. Don't let me forget that. I won't. Okay. Now, this one, I don't even know if I can try to pronounce. Um, Yolaka Turin. It's J-O-L-A-K-O-T-T-U-R-I-N-N-E. Um, it's basically uh, tied in with the Yule Cat. Oh, that. okay. From Iceland. So I'm thinking it's Yulaka Turn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, sounds like Yulaka Turn. Yes. Um, the Yule Cat is a monster from Icelandic folklore. That's the one that runs around and eats And we the... talked about yeah. that. Yeah, yep. we talked about that during one of our breaks a couple weeks ago. Um, and uh, it eats people who don't have any new clothes for Christmas. Right. Wow, Which that is, just is very rude. classist. Just... That's super classist. Yeah. Like... Yeah. No. Just... Just let the people, you know, not everybody can have new clothes and you shouldn't have to get eaten by a cat right. if you don't. A poem written about the cat ends with a suggestion that children help out the needy so that they too can have new clothing. Like, who, oh. you better save these other children. Okay. I Give see them some that clothes. Goes. Yeah, make sure you share your clothes with people so that they don't get eaten by a cat. <clears throat> Fair enough. 
<laughs> um, another one on the list is Frau Perkta. I've actually heard of this one before. Okay. Um, Tales Told in Germany and Austria features a witch named Frau Perkta who hands out both rewards and punishments during the 12 days of Christmas, which is December 25th through the epiphany of January 6th. She is best known for her gruesome punishment of the sinful. She will rip out your internal organs and replace them with garbage. Her story is thought to have descended from a legendary alpine goddess of nature who tends the forest most of the year to deal with humans only during Christmas. I see. What, what makes her think that my organs aren't already garbage? Jokes, Tro- on, jokes you, on her, Frau, Frau Luca, or Perkta. Now, Perkta. this one I remember from The Office. If you've ever watched The Office, you've heard of the Belschnickel. The Belschnickel. Uh, Dwight introduced that to everybody at The Office. It's a male character from southwestern German lore who traveled to the U.S. and survives in Pennsylvania Dutch customs. So this was 100% true, what, like what they portrayed in the office. He comes to children before Christmas wearing tattered old clothing and raggedy fur. And the Belsnickel carries a switch to frighten children in candy to reward them for good behavior. In modern visits, the switch is only used for noise and to warn children that they still have time to be good before Christmas. And then all the children get candy or other small little trinkets if they are polite and they are good children. Uh-huh. The bell snickle. I told Cashy I want to do something like with that for Christmas. We'll see you though. Yeah. We already have a Dwight Schrute drink on. We just need <laughs> to have a Christmas special. Yeah. Um, Hans Trap. Hans Trapp is anti-Santa, who hands out punishment to bad kids in the Lorraine regions of France. He visits children before Christmas dressed as a scarecrow. The legend says that he was a real man, a rich, greedy, and evil man who worshipped Satan and was excommunicated by the Catholic Church. He was exiled into the forest where he preyed upon children, disguised as a scarecrow for straw with straw jutting out of his clothing. He was about to eat one boy he captured when he was struck by lightning and killed. A punishment from his own God. Still, he visits young children before Christmas dressed as a scarecrow to scare them into good behavior. I'm noticing a theme here. A lot of, lot of these things are just kids be good. Right. Yeah. Hans Trapp's going to get you. Yeah, be scared. Bell be Snickle's a... going to get you. Krampus. Oh, yeah. These are all merely to frighten children. Yes. That's just a, it's, a, it's a different way of parenting, I guess. Um, Pierre Foutard. Pierre Foutard is a legend from France, and the name translates into Father Whipper. Begins with an evil butcher who craved eating children. (laughs) He or his wife lured three boys into his butcher shop where he killed, chopped them up, and salted them. What about the pepper? No garlic salt? Kids need more than just salt yeah you're gonna want a little, oh, little maybe a little mrs more, dash or something way. in there <laughs> saint nicholas came to the rescue resurrected the boys and took custody of the butcher the captive butcher became pierre Foutard, saint nicholas's servant whose job is to dispense punishment to bad children on saint nicholas day hmm. which would be the sixth okay and you talked about this before, the Yule Lads. Oh, yes, yes. Sausage oh, sniffer. Yes. The 13 Icelandic trolls, which have a name and distinct personality. In ancient times, they stole things and caused trouble around Christmas time. So they were used to scare children into behaving. Like the Yule Cat, the 20th century brought tales of the benevolent Norwegian figure of Santa Claus, which is Julnis, who brought gifts to good children. And then the, the Yule Lads would steal from the bad children so that they would have gifts. Yes. They wanted gifts. Who doesn't? Yeah. And Gryla. Have you heard of Gryla? The name's not familiar. All the Yule Lads have to answer to Gryla, their mother. Oh, yeah. She predates the Yule Lads in Icelandic legend as the Orgris Ogris, who kidnaps, cooks, and eats kids who don't obey their parents. She only became associated with Christmas in the 17th century when she was assigned to the mother of the, as the mother of the Yule Lads. According to legend, she had three different husbands and 72 children, all who caused trouble, ranging from harmless mischief to murder. As the household wasn't crowded enough, the Yule Cat also has to answer to Gryla. Lives with the Yule Lads. Yep. 
and grow that in one big weird single daddy or baby daddy household or whatever single mother mini baby daddy household so there you go those are monsters of christmas so threaten your kids and now they have elf on the shelf too like Ooh, you kids, if you behave, Elf's going to go back to Santa. Big brother. And he's going to tell you. That's a... I think it's just lazy parenting is what all this chops up to. Lazy anything, parenting. Anything that uses fear to motivate is uh, lazy. It's, mm-hmm. it's the, it is the easiest way to do things, yes. but that doesn't make it right. No. The funny thing is, like, physical abuse, oh my God, no. Don't threaten to spank your child. But torture them mentally where someone's going to eat them mm-hmm. if they're bad. So that kid goes to bed every night <laughs> worrying something's going to pick him or her up and eat them. But don't spank your child. No, no. That is terrible. What the hell is wrong with people? <laughs> I like these. Though. These are kind of fun. I'd like to see more movies. There needs to be more Christmas horror movies. I'm just saying. I watched a Christmas horror short film yesterday it was really good what was it i'm trying to think what it was called it was called humbug oh it was a uh it was a person who was of the goth persuasion uh hating on christmas and the upstairs neighbor is all excited about christmas and it's like, we're going to teach you the spirit of Christmas. And they're like, no, fuck you. And then uh, they're like, well, I guess we're going to have to do this the hard way. And then they knock them out and uh, they perform basically an exorcism to get the humbug out of them where they, yeah. And then it goes into dark places Yikes. that the humbug is an actual demon that they're like getting right. out of them and. So there's some kidnapping, and, and I won't spoil the spoil the end. But I'm trying uh, to figure out. Oh, I watched this came out in 2015, but it was a Christmas horror story, which was on Netflix, mm-hmm. and I highly recommend it. Cool. It was good. Um, it was very well done. So it was the story of this Santa who has to fight this zombie attack that has taken all of his elves. Like, so he has to kill all these zombies. And it turns out that Santa... I don't even want to give away the ending. Don't I can't. Get all right. No spoilers. Um, it's all right. The home, at the end, you're like, no freaking way. <laughs> no way. Yeah. It, another good Christmas horror film, uh, Rare Exports, okay. is uh, one that I would recommend checking out, where um, y- they're trapping Santas, I which that. are like feral... They're like these feral yeah, that's on the creatures. Yeah. 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 Rare it's, uh, I think it was, might be Norwegian. I can't remember for sure, but, uh, yeah, it was, it was quite good. Here's, here's just a list of some horror movies you might want to check out for Christmas. Holidays, which came out in 2016. I don't know, but it's got like a, it looks like it has like a weird Norwegian figure. Uh huh. Um, Jack Frost from 97. <laughs> the Riff Tracks, Jack Frost. Yeah. Um, Black Christmas from 1974. 74, yeah. Silent Night, Deadly Night. That's 1984. I remember yep. seeing that one. Krampus, who came out in 2015. Christmas Evil, which came out in 1980. Mm, that one doesn't ring a bell. That is Christmas Evil is starring... Um, oh, it's Comical Festive Frights. A toy maker who, reveal, who revels in the Christmas spirit suffers a mental breakdown when his work is met with hypocrisy and cynicism and goes on a Yuletide killing spree. Hmm. Yeah, so that uh, that's one. Christmas Evil. Um, and Better Watch Out from 2016. Better Watch Out... Ashley travels to the suburban home of the learners to babysit their 12-year-old son, Luke, during the holidays. She must soon defend herself and the young boy when unwelcome intruders announce their arrival. Hmm. Hmm. So there you go. I'm surprised that Santa's, Oh, and Gremlins, too, but I don't Santa consider it Santa Slay didn't make the list. Oh, yeah, with, that's right. Was it Bill Goldberg? Yes. Totally forgot about that one, too. Yep. 
There's also one I saw on Amazon, uh, Sleigh Bells, B-E-L-L-E-S, okay. where it's some debutantes oh, that are, yeah. And sleigh, yeah. like murder. Yeah. I can get behind some of these. So there you go. So check that out. Uh, coming up, we have a game break. Yep. And if there's a song you want to hear, you can message me on Facebook or message URL Radio on Facebook. Or you can email me, Stacy at URLRadio.net. That's S-T-A-C-Y at URLRadio.net.